Mat den Valgucht agus fach te orst gen lesson show. Good morning to you and welcome to this lesson. Hope you're doing well. It's nice to see you. Today we're going to take a look at opening and closing, how these verbs work in Gaelic. Two pretty common actions, I'd say, for everyday life, pretty useful when describing your world in more detail. Okay, leva, so let's jump right in. So, we have our different forms here. Let's start at the top. A fosglug. A fosglug. Opening. A fosglug. And we know it's opening, this little ing ending here, because of the a, ah, the a apostrophe. A fosglug. Mm -hmm. What about over here? It's the opposite. A dunug. A fosglug. A dunug. Closing. And how do we know it's closing? Same deal as with a fosglug. That ing is the a. And this is true for any verb. Mm hmm. Gleva. So we already have a fosglug. A dunug. A fosglug. A dunug. Nice. But that's not good enough. Just understanding the word, that's step one, but we need context. We need to put it in with other words so that our brains take it in better and remember it better. Okay. So what could we have? Opening. Open it. Well, I guess the most common example would be a door, right? Opening the door. So I am opening the door. Ha mi a fosglug. An dodish. Ha mi a fosglug an dodish. And let's put our word dodis up here. What do we have? Dodis. We must have a picture. Yeah, gleva. <laughs> Dodis. Dodis. It's a door. Dodis. Ha mi a fosglug an dodish. Ha mi a fosglug an dodish. Gleva. But what if I'm closing the door? Ha mi a dunug an dodish. Yeah. Ha mi a fosglug an dodish. Ha mi a dunug an dodish. Gleva. An dodish, that's our word for door. Yeah, gleva. There's a sort of sh sound here. Dodish. Ha mi a fosglug an dodish. Ha mi a dunug an dodish. Gleva. Okay, nice. Punctuation is pretty important too. Gleva. Okay, maha. So opening and closing. I am opening, I am closing the door. Now, I mean, that's pretty useful. We can extend it into the past too and in the future. So we could say, for example, Va mi a fosglug an dodish. Va mi a fosglug an dodish. I was opening the door, and it feels like there's more coming, like more description or more to the story. I was opening the door, and then I heard... Yeah? It's different from just saying, I opened the door. <laughs> opened is complete action, and we'll look at that in a, in a bit here. But, va mi a fosglug and dodish feels like it wants a bit more, to, more detail or more to the story. Okay. And I will be opening the door... I will be opening the door at nine. Be me a fosglug an dodish ik noi uden. <laughs> I'll be opening the door at nine. Uh, yeah, let's put that in. Noi uden. Leva. <laughs> noi uden. Skanya. Leva. So, yes, we can use va or be instead of ha, and it changes the time of it. But it is different from just saying, I opened the door, I will open the door, that kind of thing. Okay, gleva. And same happens over here. 
ha mi adunu and dodish. Va mi, va mi adunu and dodish. And then the dog ran inside or something like that. Or, and then the dog ran outside chasing a squirrel or a porcupine. <laughs> be me a dunu and dodish. I will be closing the door at, well, ik noi uren. Why not? Or ik keher uren. Let's do that. Ik keher uren. Shine. Ik keher uren. Ik keher uren. Keher uren. Four o'clock. Yeah. Gleva. So it's pretty straightforward. Ha mi a fosklug and dodish. Va mi a fosklug. And dodish, be me a fosklug and dodish. Same with a dunuch, be me a dunuch and dodish. Va me a dunuch and dodish. Ha me a dunuch and dodish. Leva. Maybe you can hear the, the chickens outside and the guinea fowl. They're making some noise. That's why, that's why we'll, we will always be a dunuch and dodish. <laughs> <laughs> at night. Yeah, we, we close them in in their, in their chicken house so that foxes and raccoons don't eat them. <laughs> okay, nice. Let's carry on here. So, foskel. Foskel. Foskel means open. Open. So it's telling someone to do it. Foskel and Dorish. Open the door. Ah, uh, Gavmelishko. Foskel and Doris. Foskel and Doris. Foskel and Doris. Shine. Foskel and Doris. Open the door. Foskel and Doris. Foskel and Doris. Open the door. It's pretty direct. Maybe it wouldn't be considered rude, but it's pretty direct. Something to keep in mind. Foskel and Doris. Foskel and Doris. Mm -hmm. Nice. What about... Uh, open the box. Maybe it's at a party and, you know, they're taking a long time to open the presents. You want to see what they got. Foskel and Boxer. Open the box. Shine. Foskel and Boxer. Open the box. Open it. Foskel and Boxer. Foskel and Doris. Pretty straightforward. Foskel. You're telling them to do something. Leva. Okay. But what if you're telling not just one person, but two or more? Telling a group of people to do something. Fosklive. 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 Fosklive and Doris. Fosklive and Doris. And this is plural. Or if you're being polite too, Fosklive and Doris. <laughs> Although if you're being that direct, maybe you wouldn't be being polite. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Depends on the situation, I suppose. To my mind, when I see Fosklive, I'm thinking it's more addressed to a group. Yeah. Kleva. Because it is pretty direct, after all. It wouldn't necessarily be totally polite. <laughs> there are other ways of that, like, oh, would you mind opening the door? Or would you open the door? That would be more polite. This is pretty direct. Okay. Gleva. So, foskel. Foskel. Or foskliv. To a bunch of people. Foskliv. Gleva. Ooh, let's have that. We need our illustrations here, of course. Foskliv. <laughs> You people, you stick, figure, stick figures. Fosklive and Doris, open the door. Yeah, maybe I'm coming back from the car and I've got something heavy in my arms. Open the door, open the door, don't just stand there. Fosklive and Doris, Fosklive and Doris. Or if it's one person, Fosklive and Doris, Fosklive and Doris. Got a big box or, you know, groceries maybe from the grocery store. Okay, Gleva. So how, did, how would you tell someone to close? Yeah. Close the door, there's a draft. Or close the door, it's cold outside. Close the door so the cat doesn't get out, for example. <laughs> well, we're gonna tell them, doon, doon. There it is, close. 
Foscal and Doris. Dune and Doris. Dune and Doris. Clever. I've got my hands full. It's a bit hard to do the actions with my hands full. Dune, Dune and Doris. Foscal and Doris. Dune and Doris. Dune and Doris. There we are. Just like that. What about um, close the window? Close the window. It's really windy or it's raining. Close the window. Close the window. Dune. Dune and Unyak. There's our Unyak. Clever. <laughs> Dune and Unyak. Dune and Unyak. There we are. Or what about close all the windows? Close the windows. Close the windows of the car or close the windows of the house. Dune. Na. Hunyakin. There we are. Leva. Dune. Na Hunyakin. Dude na hunyakin. Close the windows. And again, it's being quite direct. There are situations in which it's good to be direct and clear. Gleva. Dune and Doris. Dune and Unyak. Dune na hunyakin. All the windows. And again, if you're speaking to more than one person, we need this ending as well. Dunyev. Dunyev. There we are. Dunyev. Dunyev. Dunyev and Doris, you all close the door. You know, Dunyev and Unyak, you all close the window. Dunyev and Hunyakin, you all over there close the windows. Dunyev. Gleva. So again, adding this on for plural, for more than two people, uh, excuse me, more than one person in this case, or if you're being polite. <laughs> Gleva. Okay, we're doing really well here. We're halfway there. <laughs> Living on a prayer. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did not expect to have Bon Jovi just pop up in my mind or in the video. Ah, oh, but I do like a good Bon Jovi song. Okay, Gleva. Um, so let's see. I will open the door. Someone's coming up from the car or coming up the stairs. They have something heavy. Oh, I'll open the door. I will open the door. <laughs> Foskly. 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 And the end here, um, this IDH is an E sound. <laughs> Foskly. Foskly. It sounds like you're saying glee at the end, like glee, joy, etc. Mm -hmm. Foss glee. Okay, but we need, again, we need a full sentence here to help our minds hold on to it. Foss glee, me and Doris. I will open the door. Foss glee, me and Doris. Show and Doris. I guess, Misha. <laughs> Going over there. Foskly, Foskly, me, and Doris. Mm -hmm. Nice. Foskly, me. I'll open the box. Okay, why not? Foskly, me, um, boxer. I'll open the box. Um, I'll open the bags. Foskly me na bagichen. Na bag. We need a G. Bagichen. Mm -hmm. Foskly me. Foskly. Pointing ahead to the future. Foskly me na bagichen. Foskly me and Doris. There we are. Gleva. Okay. Now what if, oh, I'll close the window. I'll close the door. Someone says, Dune and Doris. Oh, Dune me. Dune me and Doris. 
Do ye me and Doris. I will close the door. Do ye me and Doris. Yeah. Do ye me. I'll close the door. Do ye me and Doris. I'll close the window. Do ye me and Unyak. Unyak. I'll close the windows. Do ye me. Do ye me. Na Hunyakin. Shona Hunyakin. Gleva. Unyak. And Doris. Show and Doris. Gleva. Just like that. Do ye me na Hunyakin. I will close. And again, it's this little IDH ending that is the will part. I will close. Will close. Again, we could come back up here and use B. Be me a fosklug na hunyakin. I will be closing the windows. To me, it feels like, and? <laughs> so what? I, great, hooray. You will be closing the windows when? <laughs> But if someone said, hey, close the windows, it's starting to rain. Okay, do ye me, do ye me na hunyakin. That feels like a nice, appropriate response. Gleva. All right, we're doing great here. Gleva. All right, what about in the past? We don't want to leave the past out of here. It turns out that we humans in general speak in the past very frequently. So knowing your past tense forms is very important. All right, Roskel, Roskel. That DH is that dreaded sound, <laughs> like right here. Roskel, Roskel, me. I cl uh, opened, I opened. Roskel, me, Gmail. I opened Gmail. <laughs> Rosco me Gmail. Rosco, it's in the past, so I go like this. Rosco me Gmail. I opened Gmail. Leva. All right. Open. Let's put a. Let me do the, you ran out of space right there and the tail of the very hungry fox pillar here is getting in the way. Let's try this again. Opened. There we are. Gleva. Mm hmm Rosco, me Gmail. Rosco, me Andoris. Roskal me unboxer. I opened the box. I opened the door. I opened Gmail. Roskal me nehunyakin. O vai hobria. Vai hobria na hobria. I guess Roskal me nehunyakin. Clever. Just like that. Okay, Maha. And this is a common pattern too. In the same way that this IDH ending shows it's in the future, this DH at the beginning of a word, uh, beginning of an action, really, of a verb, that'll, that'll show you very often that it's in the past. And if you don't have a DH kind of starting the word, sometimes you'll see an, just an H. Yeah, these are really important little patterns of the past tense to pick up. Mm -hmm. All right. Rune. <laughs> Rune. Uh, so we'll have close, right? Because remember, dune, close, dune, and we add an H to make it past tense. Closed. Rune. Again, it's that R sound. <laughs> Rune. Rune. Me and Doris. Close the door. Close the door. Slam. Bang. <laughs> oh, we need our whoever's doing it. 
Hyun Mi. And then we can shorten this. Hyun Mi and Doris. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. Hyun Mi and Doris. Bang. Hyun Mi and Boxer. Clever. It's <laughs> gone, yeah. Hyun Mi and Hyun Yakin. Close the windows. There we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so looking at our four different kinds of these words, what we're actually doing here is we're seeing the pattern for regular verbs in Gaelic. So the majority, you know, almost every verb in Gaelic will do something similar to this. Depending on the first letter, you know, we might have DH to start it, or maybe just an H. And that's, that's, hmm. Maybe that's something we'll explore in a future video. Yeah, that's for another time. <laughs> if you'd like, please let me know if you'd like in a comment. Yeah, if you'd like to look at that a bit more. But as a general idea of what do verbs do in different times, present tense, past tense, future tense, it's going to do something very similar to this. All the verbs are going to look like this, or maybe AG, and then you're going to have your IV at the end for, uh, excuse me, if on the end for telling someone to do, telling a group of people what to do, and you won't for telling someone what to do, just one person, do, do that, do niv, and do that, you all. <laughs> Close the window, all of you. <laughs> IDH ending on the end of our verb here shows us that it's only the future tense. It can only be the future tense. And then here, as just mentioned, the DH at the very beginning, or maybe just the H as the second letter, these two are signs of the past tense. Gleva. Okay, maha. Skonyal. Now, I want to give you kind of a, a bonus pair of words here. So how would we say the school is closed? It's, we could use these patterns to say, oh, the principal closed, or the head teacher, the principal closed the school due to weather, or they opened a new school in the city. Sure, we could use these. But what if the school is open? No one's actually doing the opening, it's just by nature open. Open is like a describing word, it's an adjective. We're going to use foskulcha. Open. This is your adjective. Yep. Ha and skull, foskulcha. School is open. Ha and rat, foskulcha. The road is open. Ha and bu, foskulcha. The shop is open. Just like that. And what if it's closed? Just right over here. Duncha. Duncha. This is closed. Duncha. So we're seeing a bit, another ending here. This is ch. This is like ch. Ch. Duncha. Duncha. Foskal ch. Ch. The T-E is making the ch sound. Yeah. Duncha. Foskulcha. Duncha. Foskulcha. There we have it. And that's another pattern. If you see TE on the end of a verb, on the end of an action, it, it is used as a, an adjective in this sense. Yeah, kleva. All right. So maybe, maybe you were watching and following along and, you know, taking in, acquiring the different patterns and the examples, but maybe. Your brain thought for a minute, wait a minute, dotish, dotis, 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 dotish? Why is this different? Well, in a nutshell, this is a very different grammatical situation from this, and this, and this. These are all quite similar, grammatically speaking, when it comes to the object of what's being opened, the thing that's being opened or closed. But if we are opening, it's its own special case in Gallic own special situation, I mean, grammatically speaking. So a fosklug, we could translate more literally as at opening. I am at opening of the door. I am at closing of the door. Of the. And maybe if you've studied Gaelic for a while, you know what that means. It's the genitive. <laughs> 
regenerative. Whoop. There we are. Yep. And speakers are saying opening of the door, closing of the door, slamming of the door, etc. Yeah. Kleva. Mm -hmm. I have a video all about this, of this specific grammatical situation. And there's a link to it down below, if that interests you, if that'd be useful to you. All right, Gleva. So here we have opening and closing in different forms, making your Gallic a bit richer, helping you express yourself in more detail, perhaps in more lively ways. Mm -hmm. Bring your Gallic up, up a bit, taking a step up. Yeah, step closer to that of a native speaker as well. Plus, we're getting a lot of really good verb patterns here. Yeah. Gleva. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me, for joining us, I should say. So from the plant-based fox, the lion, and the very hungry fox pillar. thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video. Chidi!